Hi everyone, my name is Timberlihle and welcome to Study with Caesar. This is a platform for students by a student. So make sure that if you're new here, you hit that subscribe button. And if you are an existing follower, thank you so much for following me. So on today's video, I'm going to be covering bursaries that are given by the different banks in South Africa. So these bursaries cover degrees in the commerce field, in engineering field, in sciences, um, in technology, and some even in arts. So if you are interested in studying in any of these areas and you are looking for a bursary, make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch this video to the end because this will definitely be beneficial to you. So the first bursary that we're going to be covering is from APSA, the Red Bank. So this is the APSA Fellowship Program, which is for those ready to rise and lead Africa's fearless future. So the APSA Fellowship Program is all about making you reach your full potential and making Africa a better place. And they are for brave and passionate leaders who are ready to go beyond the standard of what is attainable. Now, the APSA Fellowship Program is all about advancing education, driving transformative collaboration, developing capable leadership and facilitating progressive thinking. This is for students doing their undergraduate studies um, and ultimately training you to become a great leader in the private or public sector. Now, what does the program offer? Now, the APSA Fellowship Program is way more than just like a scholarship or bursary. Um, successful candidates will receive financial support towards your studies, but you'll also receive um, leadership development training created by APSA. So now this is what will be covered by this scholarship. Uh, firstly, your academic cost, they will cover your full tuition, your academic accommodation, both at university and private landlord agreements. They'll give you a laptop, which is very important in university, textbooks and educational equipment. They'll give you a meal allowance, a monthly stipend. And actually, they'll also give you a student medical aid. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Student medical aid is very important in case you get sick in varsity. It's an essential. I know that. Now, what else will be covered is that there will be a leadership program that APSA provides. And they will, throughout this leadership program, they'll give you a travel allowance. Um, you will have learner modules and guides. You'll have online lectures and assessments and emotional wellness check-in sessions, academic tutoring and mentoring, which is very important as well as a student because you go through so much stress and, and any supports that you require, this program is willing to provide for you. So what is the criteria to apply for this program? First of all, um, you need to be African, you need to be a leader, a catalyst for change, you need to be humble and passionate and ethically and socially con conscious, and you need to be studying towards an undergraduate degree in either science, technology, engineering, creative arts, mathematics, humanities, specifically social sciences, and digital or data design. So you also need to be studying in a well, one of the 26 universities in South Africa, the 26 public universities in South Africa. You will also need to be between the ages of 18 and 25. You also need to have a strong um, academic record, getting at least an average of 65% in your grade 12 mark. You will need to also be a citizen of one of the following countries now. There's South Africa, Mozambique, Zambia, Botswana, Tanzania, Kenya, Mauritius, Seychelles, Uganda, and Ghana. And you will need to be entering the first year of tertiary studies with provisional or full acceptance from a public university in South Africa. So I'm not sure when the closing date of this fellowship is, but I will attach the link to get a hold of this information in the description below. So the next bursary we're looking at is by Standard Bank, the Blue Bank. This bursary is run through Study Trust. So the Standard Bank Group Bursary Program is designed to promote academic excellence and shape the next generation of African talent and African leaders. Now, Standard Bank is covering both undergraduate and postgraduate bursaries. So the fields which they're looking at is agricultural, commerce, engineering, mathematics, science, statistics, technology, and even behavioral economics. So most bursary students, uh, I think all bursary students, but the students who receive the bursary basically are required to work for Standard Bank. 
and if they receive an offer of employment once you graduate so this is actually a big deal guys because unemployment rate for the youth is crazy in south africa and it's just amazing just to be able to get a job at such a good financial institution now let's look at the undergraduate bursary now the undergraduate bursary is basically for students that are on track to about to complete their first year and you require funding from second year onwards and you need to be a well-rounded individual and you need to have strong academic results now in your first year in your latest examinations maybe you'll be looking at your june exam examination marks you'll need to have achieved an average of 65 percent you need to be a full-time undergraduate student and you will need to participate in formal assessments right um not and it also that includes like a psychometric evaluation and an interview in order to get the bursary and you also need to be in financial need the postgraduate bursary is providing full cost right um towards any financial deserving, deserving student and wishing to pursue postgraduate studies so the criteria as well which they're looking for is a 65 percent average in your latest examinations you must register for full-time postgraduate studies at a south african um, higher learning institution so look at the 26 public universities that we have and applicants will participate in the same way psychometric evaluation and interview and you guys need to nail that interview <laughs> um and also be in financial need so now what does the bursary cover it will cover your full university fees your accommodation your meals whether you're in university or self-catering books and other study material a laptop computer and will give you a monthly stipend to cover other living costs and transports between home and campus four times a year four times a year that's a lot um and that's necessary for students to travel home and to recoup from university so this is a um, big deal that they're covering um transport as well so now what is the selection um criteria so they require they're looking for students who require um, funding from their second third and final year right as well as students who are pursuing their postgraduate studies up to a master's level so if you're doing your honors or masters you can also apply so you need to be well-rounded and have good marks and what they're covering as i mentioned previously agriculture commerce engineering mathematics science um they include actuarial science analytics business computer data information and then there's statistics as well technology like financial and information and also the emerging field behavioral economics which is a great field to be in so this is like economics behavioral finance sociology psychology and neuroscience 65 percent average you need to be full-time and you need to be deserving of this application now when you how do you apply you need to use the study trust online platform i will provide the link in the description below um, and you click on apply here basically they will want the following documents your certified copy of your id your proof of all academic results to date um, and you'll need your grade 12 certificates and full tertiary academic record and proof of combined household income now the closing date is the 30th of september and this is the apply here button that you'll click so i will put this link in the description now the next bursary we're covering is by NetBank, the Green Bank. <laughs> so this is the NetBank external bursary program and it's telling you don't just strive for excellence, become it. So this is will be awarded to academically deserving students um, to obtain their first undergraduate degree, right? So NetBank believes in using their financial expertise to do good and helping young bright leaders to pursue their academic dreams so one of one of the things which i see they mention is that you need it you need to be studying full time towards a first undergraduate degree or diploma right either at a public university or university of technology which is a great thing so now the aim of this bursary is to address south african scarce 
skills shortages and they have a focus on green economy skills so green economy skills um are skills that are there on improving human what human well-being and social equity whilst also significantly reducing environmental risks and ecological scarcities so whatever program you study needs to be in that sort of field now the criteria for selection is that they're only considering south african citizens you must have a proven financial need um, that is determined by your household income and you must have obtained these are the academic results you, you need to have obtained um you need to have an average of 65 percent so like if you're in grade 12 you'll need 65 percent in that year or if you are in university already first year second year or something you need to have an average of 65 percent in your marks and then also you need to have gotten 65 percent for the required subjects that are aligned to the degree you, that you plan to study at university or are studying so for instance if you're studying accounting um, and you are in university already for the your accounting major in university you need to be getting the 65 percent um, average mark so students who are doing maths literacy unfortunately will not be considered and you need to be admitted to a south african public university or university of technology for undergraduate qualification now the supporting documents that are required so um, your South African ID, your grade 11 final results. Um, this is if you're currently in grade 12. And then your grade 12 final results if and well, your mid-year results, so your June results. If you are in first year and if you're in second year or third year, you need your last academic year results as well as your current mid-year results if you're currently in your second or third year university. So the financial checks affidavit must be signed by your parents or guardian and also you. And you can download the affidavit here on the website. And then there will be a screening process that you will go through. Actually, um, they're only considering bursaries that are sent online. Um, if you don't complete your bursary, you'll be rejected and you'll be screened and shortlisted according to how you qualify right as mentioned above now what do you require you require a lot um both from your parents your legal guardian and all income earning individuals everyone you live with in the house and yeah all of this information make sure you submit it such as proof of income pension slip or bank statements if your family members are earning pensions grow to maintenance um and also three months bank statements etc so all applicants um will also be screened so make sure that you are giving accurate information over here and if you need assistance there is um, an email that you can um, contact and yeah they just tell you here how this bursary application goes there's a nice um, flow diagram that you can look at and I will put the link to this below in the description. Make sure you apply on time. Um, I'm not seeing the bursary closing date. So I just say apply as soon as possible um, while the apply option is still there. Bursary. First National Bank. I know I've been mentioning the colors. I do not know what color even B is. Like when I look at it, it's like green, blue. But anyways, comment below on what color that F and B color is because I can't really say the blue bank. I can't really say the green bank. It's like the in between bank. Anyways, so this is the F and B fund bursary program, and the eligibility over here is that you need to demonstrate academic potential you must demonstrate financial need you will not be excluded on the basis of race gender or disability if you completed matric more than two years ago you will not be considered unfortunately you must be a south african citizen um they have a bias towards selecting female beneficiaries and there's also a bias towards rural students and historically disadvantaged communities um Funding is only awarded for full-time study, so no part-time students, basically. Um, and they want to include students uh, with a disability, people with a disability on the programs. 
they want students who are registered for undergraduate studies only, right? But the exception is if you are doing an honors in accounting and you need a bursary, you can also apply. Only students who are doing honors in accounting and they want to qualify as chartered accountants. Now, fields of study which they cover in commerce, we have accounting, actuarial science, auditing, economic and management sciences, economics, financial management, investment management, management, quantitative finance, statistics, finance, marketing, human resources, law, psychology, organizational psychology. In engineering, there's a lot. Aeronautical engineering, agricultural engineering, building technology, chemical engineering, civil engineering, construction management, electrical engineering, industrial, mechanical, mechatronics, metallurgical, mining. Yeah, I think it's like all kinds of engineering. I'm not sure if there's any that I don't know that are not here. And then sciences as well, mathematical science, business information, technology, computer science, computer engineering, IT, software development. Then there's also put actual science here, statistics and mathematics. So yeah, so fields of study in commerce, engineering and sciences. Now the selection criteria over here, if you are doing a BCom, a business science degree, you need a minimum of 60% in math, 60% in English. And then if you're doing engineering, add the 60% in math and English plus another 60% in physical science, as well as if you're doing a BSc, you need 60% in math, 60% in English and 60% in physical sciences. Now, the application pr procedures that, yeah, sometimes there are strikes, right? And your, your application form might not reach them on time. So you can download an application form and email your completed form and all the supporting documents to apply at studytrust.org.za and if you want an application form posted to you you can sms the word study um to 31022 um and then so not only study guys sms the word study your name surname postal address and postal code to 31022 and then yeah there is the email the the postal address where you can send your thing to um if you want to apply online um you must indicate the relevant space that you're applying for an f and v fund bursary right now here's the closing date it is the 30th of september now yeah use the study trust um, website i will put this in the link in the description the last bank that we are going to be looking at is the first rand foundation so first round basically so the first round foundation has a bursary program the degrees that are funded this is the black bank i can call it the black bank right the black and white bank <laughs> but anyways the degree um funded by this program is in commerce um engineering science and technology so may in commerce you need to be majoring either in accounting economics financial management law and risk in engineering or everything in engineering science they're looking at actuarial science, agricultural sciences, biosciences, climate sciences, data science, environmental sciences, indigenous knowledge systems, mathematical sciences, physics, renewable energy, society and sustainability, and statistics. In technology, then business information systems, computer science, information management, information systems, information science, information technology. Cool. Now, here is the selection criteria. You need to be a black South African citizen. Um... You must have obtained level five for mathematics in your grade 12. You must not be older than 21 years in your first year of studying. Your, you must have applied for and be provisionally admitted into a South African public traditional university for full-time studies in the degree stated above. Only applicants currently in grade 12 who have completed or who have completed grade 12s not more than three years ago will be considered and you must be belong to the so-called missing middle and be able to prove that your combined annual gross family income is between 350,000 and 600,000. So what the bursary covers, tuition fees, accommodation, meals, learning resources, a monthly stipend and a computer for first year students. Now, um, they want to maintain regular contact with the selected cohort of students. So the inter interaction with students include but is not limited to vacation work oh that's a good one hackathon mentoring that's nice think tank invitation to first round oh my gosh you get a lot of exposure um and there's different interactions i said interactions interactions with 
the bursary student with this bursary coordinator, which is a great thing. Um, you need to apply online, right, on Study Trust before the 30th of September 2023. So make sure you apply. I will attach the link in the bio. Thank you so, so much for watching till the end of this video. Make sure you like this video. Comment if you have any questions, if you're curious about anything or need more advice. Make sure you comment below on this and make sure you share this with your friends. Thank you.